So anyways, I've just been given Phil a full groom and I thought I'd do a bit of a cushions, uh, cushions disease update. He has got lots of new fur growth. We're on about month four of medication now. We're just going into month four. And you can see he's got all this white hair coming through. And what I've noticed is that his fur on his face here, just on oh, his cheeks. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good girl. One second. Um, his cheeks and his front of his paws is it's put being it can be pulled out like it's coming out in little clumps and it's bringing out i think the hair follicles with it it's not hurting him um but i think it's where the new fur is coming in it's pushing all the old fur out and what they say with cushions disease because it's an endocrine issue hormonal um it treats the hair follicles as it that's the reason he's I will open the door in one second for you, okay? I'm just talking. Um, it treats the hair follicle as if it's dead, and that's why the hair doesn't grow anymore. So I think what his body's doing at the moment, and some people that have Malamutes and had Cushion's disease have warned us of this, he's shedding his fur to allow new fur to grow, and the white fur is supportive of that. And if you just look at the... If I can get the back of his leg to show you... I don't think he's in a comfortable position right now. But he's got lots of white fur patches coming through. But let me just show you what I've finished doing over here. So I've just been grooming him for the last hour. Now bear in mind, if I've been grooming Teddy out for an hour, the carpet would be completely covered. But look at some of these bundles. Just dead hair clumps of old hair. And then look at these, like this is where I've brushed it. You can see these are all what I'm saying are the hair follicles coming out with it. I know you're probably thinking it's dirt, but I promise you it's not. Certain bits will be, like the bigger clubs like this, there'll be dirt amongst that. But these ones I do think are his little hair follicles. <coughs> okay, I'm coming with you. Um, and yeah, this I think is the start of all his new hair growth coming through. Now that he's got rid of all of this dead hair. And this was just off his two front paws. So this isn't off his body or anything. This is just literally his two front paws. Look at it. That's just what Phil's been living with for years. Just dead old hair. He would have been, by the way, they would have told us Cushion's disease, you're born with it. But you don't start showing signs of it until age three, I think it is. Coat funk. Um, so... This fur would be what he was born with nine years ago that has just never regenerated. Say, whereas Teddy, obviously, when he sheds, or Nico, when she sheds, new fur grows, which is what is now happening for Phil, um, but hasn't beforehand. So this is just, yeah, very, very dead hair um, that has been collected over time. Um, but yeah, I just sort of give you that kind of update, and I'll just show you his new hair growth once more. Because also the fact that his fur is so yellow is the other sign. He shouldn't be golden. I love his goldenness and I would miss that if that did change. But you can see it's coming through a completely different colour to his blondness that he's got currently. So he is going to be... I think you're going to be like a golden dog going forward, aren't you? Uh, sorry, a white dog. Eventually, when it all comes through. But this bit... Look at this that's happened recently. He's got a little bold patch on his forehead as well now. So I'd like that to start regenerating soon um and yeah there's his black skin and his neck which we'd hope would come back okay. sometime soon he'll start getting lots of little white patches on his body